I'm Phil, and in this video, I'm looking at Formaloo. No, that doesn't mean filling in forms on the toilet. No. It's all about forms. Yep, all sorts of different forms. Quizzes, data collection, surveys, you know, the full caboodle of forms. Uh, we're going to have a look at it. Just before we do, uh, don't forget, in every video I do, there's always a link in the description where you can get a great deal and my best deal a special discount deal on the software and formula is no exception it's in the link below and also ask any questions i always try and answer them as soon as i see them so if you've got any questions about formula or any other software or even about me and my shirts <laughs> feel free to ask away uh, let's dip in now and let's have a look at formula so here is Formaloo. There's a little registration page as your first register. I just registered with my Gmail address and I called myself Phil and um, I called my little domain name with Formaloo Phil as well. Uh, so straight onto the homepage and you can see that this page has got so much. If you look down the left, there are so many different pre created form which of course are all customizable uh, for you but they're always a great starting point i always think that if you're building a website or making a form it's always great to have a starting point and then change it later on of course you can start from scratch if you want and you can see down the left there's forms for job applications there's forms to generate leads we all need to generate leads there's even a generate uh, leads chatbot there's marketing forms a uh, questionnaire about branding. These are so handy. I mean, obviously you can take these forms as far as you want. There's some fun forms as well. There's quizzes, uh, multi-page forms where people will go on a journey and maybe at the end of it um, win a prize or it's a customer service or an employee engagement form. Registration forms, if maybe you're having an event, virtual or real, uh, single page firm forms, surveys and questionnaires and widgets as well. So it really is versatile. And of course you can put these forms anywhere we're not just looking at putting them on your own website you could put these forms uh, into social media uh, or you could even have them on display at an actual physical event i've had other form building software in the past like type form i'm trying to think of the other one uh the zappy pie i'm looking at the left here because it's written down but uh, what's the one i used to have oh we'll leave this in i can't think but i think the biggest way to collect data of course you get that magic email and someone can sign up uh, and subscribe but as well as that you can find out about them for example if you're in business and you always ask the question what's your budget or how much are you looking to spend you know the person who's looking to spend 50 pounds or 50 dollars you're probably going to send them to a different place compared to the person who's going to spend a million dollars obviously extreme examples there so you can really get quite advanced with forms where if one person answers one thing it'll take into a different question if they answer another thing it'll take to another place or another section it really is the sky is your limit with Formaloo. I love the name as well. <laughs> so I'm not going to get too in. I mean, I'm, I'm going to click on a form now and we'll just have a quick look. So let's have a look at a classic form, the one we always have on our websites, the classic contact us form. So let's just start with a very basic. Here it is. And you can see that it's fairly plain and bland to start off. But if you look down the left, uh, you will see all of the different options. Because when you're asking questions on a form, you might have different ways you want the people to answer it. You want might you might want them to have just one single choice. Do you prefer apples or oranges? Uh, multiple choice. Uh, select three of your favorite colors. I know these aren't very exciting questions. Obviously, you can choose if they're going to give you their text, their email number or their phone number, and you can make that obligatory or not. Uh, you can have drop down menus where they can select lots of different options. They can insert long text, uh, just just like the classic form builders. I like the design of this. Style. I, like, I like the icons. I like the way it's laid out. Very easy to use. And of course, you can see across the top, once you've designed your form and how you want it to look is the next thing you do. So you can go to the design. Uh, you can change the color of the form. Or you can even, here we go, you can even have a background image. I don't know what this one is. <laughs> it's one of my thumbnails. There you go. So that's not probably a brilliant background for a form. You can also click, let's have another thumbnail in there. That has got to be the most disgusting form <laughs> I've ever made. But you get the idea. Fully uh, customer, by, try and say that word, fully customer by, try and say it again, custom, uh, yeah, try and change it yeah uh notifications so when someone fills in the form you can decide how it's going to notify you uh you can either send submitted data to the submitter you can send me a notification email for each response you can set up the forms so they uh go to the right people and the people who filled in the forms get the right response uh the calculator the calculator will take a little bit of reading up on as i say i do demonstrations on software where me not the beginner, but the person who knows a bit about the internet demonstrates to you if this is your field and you want to create really complicated forms where an answer will calculate something else, something else, then um, watch a more in-depth video. <laughs> 
also logic as well and you can get quite advanced with the form so you can start off a flow with the form they put in their full name and then if that happens that they put their full name after they've done that you can show it you can hide it after submit you can go to a link and take them through the process on the form and make that as advanced if they say this then you go this way if you say that then they go that way and make your form so it's very very advanced in fact the most advanced form maker i have seen and then once you've got your form out there and people are filling it in here is the results side and these are the responses obviously i've had no responses to my form yet uh, but uh, once you get them, you can decide what you're going to do with those responses and it will give you all of the back end information on those responses. So what they've said, uh, what's working, what's not working, and then you can decide what you do with those responses. You can export it. That's Formaloo in a nutshell. Great design, great look and very versatile. So would I use Formaloo? Yes. On my website, update the forms, which are looking very tired now, in my social media to create surveys and fun stuff. I think it's a really great tool and really versatile. Is it easy to use? Yes, it is. Took me a couple of minutes to click around. I was able to bring up forms, adapt them, change them and personalize them. So really easy to use. Is it versatile? It really is versatile. So it doesn't matter if you're just a small single person business or you're a big company, Formaloo can do everything for you when it comes to making forms. And now the biggie, would I recommend it to a friend? Yes, I would. Because I've seen other form software that's not as advanced as this that costs a lot more than this. So if you like the look of Formaloo, the link to Formaloo is in the description uh, with my special discounts. Thanks for watching the videos. Yes, I do that thing that you've got to say on YouTube. Do please subscribe. Uh, but no, seriously, if you want reviews of software from somebody who's not a whiz, but he knows his stuff, but he's not the fastest, I'll be honest, he's getting on a bit. So you're going to get a real review. If I struggle at something, I will tell you. Then uh, do click subscribe. I'll see you for another one really soon. Thanks.